go live now. Oh, wait, my microphone's facing the wrong way. One second, there we are. Welcome. I had my microphone facing the opposite wall, which would not have been good for audio. Um, in this healing video, I am going to heal your digestive system and strengthen your nature energy connection. Um, in terms of what you'll feel, depending on how well you can feel energy, you will feel the energy start in your mouth. Um, this will not be a focus on the face. It will mainly be throat down. So you'll, you may feel a sore throat tightening there. Then it will go down through your throat, through the, <laughs> through the rest of your body, down through all of your digestive organs um, before coming to the end. And then it will essentially wrap around all of it and continue to clear them and restore them. Um, I have a few topics here, but not that much. I don't think I can talk about digestive issues for an hour. So anyone who has... Um, overall questions about really any topic, feel free to ask them and I'll answer them as I go. Now, in terms of the digestive system, that is a system that negative entities target quite a lot. Um, the way they do it is essentially, we have an energy body that is a reflection of our physical body and it can be targeted in the various dimensions above the third dimension. And in the energy body, there is a essentially copy of all the our organs. And negative entities have been around for a very long time. And a lot of them have essentially a hive mind. So they all pretty much use the same tactics. And one way they love to target people is with, put this on my lap, is, um, is with the digestive system. Oftentimes you will um, explain digestive targeting as just having bad genes, but it can be bad genes. Um, Genes can also be manipulated pre-birth due to entities targeting you. But a lot of the time, it is simply energetic targeting. And if you can fix the energetic targeting of your digestive system, which this video will do, then a lot of digestive problems you have, you'll find out were not a physical problem. They were stemming from energy uh, attacks, essentially. Um, as this video plays, you may feel burning, you may feel bloated. If you've got a lot of entities targeting your stomach, your stomach may balloon up. Um, what just happened with me, and thankfully this doesn't happen anymore, as I cleared enough to get it to stop, is I do a lot of clearing, and my stomach, it'd be like I just ate a large meal when I hadn't eaten anything, like way too much food, um, and it'd go out. And that was um, a type of energy, which I'll call gluttony energy, it looks, the main way it looks is basically yellow, um, very thick, almost like mucus energy um, with bits of red and black demonic energy in there. That's what gluttony energy does. So this will help clear you from gluttony energy. I'm, I'm just thinking, um, well, I'll talk about targeted people in general. So if you are, because I don't think I've talked about in detail um, here. A targeted person is someone who has quite good potential, energetic potential to help the world. They may not even be doing anything energetic, but if they're going to do something that is positive um, and would largely impact the world in a good way or even impact it in a medium way, negative entities will target you because they have a way to, they essentially have prediction powers of the past, the present and the future. Now, it's very, very hard for them to change the past. And it's also rather difficult for them to change the future, but they can change the present. So they will see in the future, 30 years from now, 40 years from now, before you're even born, you may be doing something incredible. So they target you in the present and they'll often target you before you're even born or shortly after birth. And you'll end up with a whole lot of problems and you know you just write off as having bad genes. Um, even if you have siblings and they're just fine, that is what a targeted person is. Now you say, okay, well, why me? And the answer is, well, you, you had very good potential and it's been squashed most likely. Um, you know, that's what they've been trying to do. That doesn't mean you can't unsquash it. They've made your journey 
to what you were going to do, or you may end up doing something else, something potentially much better than you would have done because they squashed you. Um, so if you're a targeted person, it, it, it does suck. It, it does. Okay, You don't really have a choice. You have to energy train. You have to get strong enough to protect yourself. But then from there, you can go on and you can really utilize your potential. And you have much more potential because you're now, you, you have much more energy. Your brain and body are working at a high capacity towards what you were, you, you know, either going to work on or most likely something better than what you were going to work on. So targeted people, we often have IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, bloating. Um, I'm not a doctor. I don't know the medical reason for ir irritable bowel syndrome, but I had pretty crappy bowels, especially as a teenager. I had to eat a lot of fiber, um, simply to just not have a lot of pain <laughs> when I went to the toilet. And it was almost as if the only person I could really relate to when I talked about this was my grandma. And she was also a targeted person. She had no idea what a targeted person was. Um, but I could relate with her. So a lot of us experience um, essentially what feels like premature aging. Um, and again, just mentioned she has an underactive thyroid. This will help uh, energetically with your various um, digestive organs, liver, stomach, bowels. <laughs> my brain's a bit, I'm doing, using a lot of energy right now. So it's, um, most of my brain power is going towards that. So this will help with IBS. Now, um, disclaimer, it may get worse, often with energy work that works, it may get worse before it gets better. So for example, let's say you've got a whole lot of demonic energy, a whole lot of premantises, spiders, etc. in your digestive system. And suddenly you play this video and they, you know, you start feeling some relief and then two hours later, you have a lot of pain there. That's because these entities are now all being erased and they are in what is called death throes. They are very mad. They have been biding their time for, you know, potentially decades for the one moment when you're really at rock bottom, when you your defenses are at their lowest and then they'll really hit you and, you know, get a very firm foothold. So... If you end up, you most likely um, have the runs. You're not. You should not be constipated from this video. Um, but if that happens, no worries. <laughs> it may be. Let's say you play this video a, a few times each day, and then um, the first day it may be bad, and then the second day it'll get better and get better. If it continue continues to get worse after say four or five days, just take a break, okay, and then. Take a break, really, um, until you feel more grounded. Um, for anyone who doesn't want to time spend, let's say if it's really bad, take a week. If it's not bad, take three, four days, and then play it. Most people will not have that problem. Um, the first time you play it, off, off energetic flush is very healthy, and then afterwards you can play this, and it'll just be healing and restoring your di and strengthening your digestive organs as well. Um, in terms of premature aging a lot of us who are targeted people have chronic illnesses i'm acting like oh i've got this I, i've got dot points <laughs> um a lot of us have chronic illnesses that are completely unexplainable um you know a few off the top of my head chronic fatigue um i believed i might have had lyme's disease when i was i'm gonna say 21 because i had or yeah yeah 21 because i just had a lot of problems, and it's like Lyme disease. Re read through the symptoms, I went, oh, that sounds like it could potentially be me. Like, it's the only thing that has has a list of, yeah, Lyme disease, there's just a long list of everything there. I did not have Lyme disease. I'd never been bitten by a tick. Lyme disease, um, energetically, it can be worked on. It just looks like bright green energy. Um, but a lot of us, we before we find out about anything energetically, we just presume, okay, well, I've, you know, I've just happened to be born in a pretty crap body, that for no explainable medical reason is, you know, causing all kinds of problems. So the important thing is I used to have, you name it, just a very, very long list of chronic illnesses. So long as you do energy train, um, and even for someone who doesn't know anything about energy, if you, some, I, you've heard, you've most likely heard about this. 
Um, Wim Hof breathing, you can just do that without doing anything or knowing anything about energetically what's going on whatsoever. And people who've had depression for years, it can lift, um, you know, those depression, it can be a chemical imbalance. It can be, I mean, chemical imbalance is the main one they go to for chronic depression with, um, that won't change. Um, and it can be a chemical imbalance that can certainly be a part of it, but a lot of it, and I'm going to do a video in, uh, on this topic in, in general later on, um, a lot of depression could just be negative entities targeting you. So if anyone has any questions about what I've said, let me know. Um, in terms of premature aging, so with aging in general, it's not like you, you become 80 years old and suddenly you have bad bowels because there are quite a few 80-year-olds that don't have that. What it is is as you get older, you've just accumulated more negative energy, you've got more traumas, you've got more stress just throughout your life, and your physical health does tend to decline as your energetic and mental health declines. Um, which means for myself being 15 and having these problems of 80 year olds wasn't, it, it was very odd to me. I just presumed my, my body was gone, but it was just energetic targeting. And once you clear up the energetic targeting, you will suddenly feel like you're in your twenties. You won't feel like you're 80 years old anymore because you, you weren't 80 years old in the first place. And because you've done this work, and so long as you continue this lifestyle into the future, then you will have a much better time throughout life, depending on what, what's going on in the future of the world. But physical health wise and mental health wise, you will be much better off than someone else when they hit 80. Because you've had, you've had the 80 year old problems when you were a child or teenager or you know 30s and even 40s. But then now that you've fixed it, you know what to do. You know how to maintain it and you can continue going on um, into the future. Um, can you elaborate what you mean, Ivy? Do you mean bananas? Because I don't know of any fruit called ananas. <laughs> Just elaborate on that. Um, in terms of digestive health, one major reason why they target that is because it's not something that we really, if something goes wrong with your brain, you, you know, you can't think, yeah, that's urgent, okay, you most likely go to the doctor, you'd be like, what's, what's going on with my brain? And they may find energy is manifested as a tumor or as a brain problem and they'll cut it out. If it's in your stomach, they can, we have a tremendous amount of intestines. They can target there over 20, 30 years and you may have a bit of pain, but it's not really something that you immediately rush off for. So they target the bowels as a way to really jeopardize our overall health and our energetic health because when with your energy flow, um, your bowels are a massive part of that. And if they can block that up energetically, it'll cause quite a lot of energetic weakness because your energy will be flowing <laughs> through a dam, essentially. Do I think people need to get old? The way this matrix is, the answer is yes. Naturally, it is built into the matrix. Um, aging is a part of it. It's how the game was designed. Now, if you can get energetically strong enough, could you be able to regenerate from aging? And the answer is potentially. Um, I have a few theories on it, but at the moment, nothing that I could point really point to and say, you know, give you specific advice. Just in general, maintaining your energetic health and increasing your strength will allow you to live longer if you so wish. Um, but. In terms of stopping aging, stopping aging, it would be very, very hard. Reversing aging, regenerating from aging would actually be easier because you'd simply be regenerating rather than stopping. Stopping anything is usually very hard, but you know, you can either really go forwards or backwards. Um, but going forwards would be easier, yes. Uh, 
Oh, no, you you can eat pineapples. <laughs> you can eat pineapples. Um, the fruit has nothing to do with... It was a code word. Okay, you can eat them all you want. Would I consider myself the strongest human on earth? No, I wouldn't. Um, in terms of one way that entities really screw with us is I have no real way of gauging where my energetic strength is. I'm much stronger than I, I was. I But I don't compare myself to anyone else. I don't know of anyone positive um, or even even negative. Um, but then I really don't go out of my way to, to, to meet negative people. But no, I don't know of anyone personally um, that I could say this person is positive and stronger than me. I'd love to meet them. Um, but the answer is no, I wouldn't. Um, I wouldn't say so. Because there's just... A way that you could gauge it is you'd have two people working on the same thing energetically and you could just see... Or you could even just compare their overall energetic strength. Um, but yeah, there's no real way to gauge who, who's the strongest unless you were to set up like a competition. Um, and then you'd need a panel of judges, all positive, who could then gauge the strength of someone's energy. Um, but, and that's by design, you know, entities, they don't want <laughs> competitions like that because it would encourage um, both competition and cooperation. Um, Demi asked, do I know about the three energy centers? I believe you're referring to the heart, the brain, and the stomach. And the answer is yes. I am going to do, the, the digestive one felt very important, so I'm doing that now. Um, but I'm going to do a separate uh, video for cardiovascular and I will do a separate one for neural activity as well. Um, but for now, the uh, digestive feels more important. I wouldn't say any of the energy centers are more important than the other. I'd say they're all very, very important. Um, yes, energetic, I, Ill, energetic targeting of the digestive system can definitely cause constipation. Um, it's pretty much one of the main causes because they want you to be incredibly blocked up all the time. And, you know, you can say it's your diet, but if, if you were to compare, if you were to compare a targeted person to someone who's got little to no energetic targeting, everybody's got it to a little bit, but someone who's not targeted, you'd eat the same thing and the target person would have a much worse time. And the reason for that is because their energy is much more blocked up, whereas a non-targeted person wouldn't. So I used to have a problem with bloating if I ate too much or if I ate something that really wasn't good for me. And in general, we shouldn't have to eat a super, super healthy diet. So long as you have a clear energy system, you can eat deep fried food and you shouldn't get a massive stomach ache. Um, you may have intolerances, and I'll talk about that in a moment. But in general, you shouldn't need to have a super healthy diet because people who are not targeted don't need to. And I, I used to, especially recently, my energy was doing a large process and I was really only eating protein because it was like, just eat this, anything else is pain. Um, but I'm through that now. But and I wouldn't recommend doing that. That was my energy decided to do that. But... You know, it is important to have a healthy diet, but, you know, if you want to eat chocolate, if you want to eat something you enjoy, you know, it, you should be allowed to. Um, one way entities, you know, target us, if they just want to make us miserable, it's like, oh, no, I can't eat chocolate, or, you know, you can't eat particular things. Um, after you've played this video and you felt an energetic change, let's say you were lactose intolerant, okay? Go and have a very small amount of milk, right? Now, you may see that it's, improved yes your coffee is fine you may see that your lactose intolerance has improved slightly um or it may be improved altogether because the root cause of it was energetic now you know that doesn't mean that if you're allergic to apples i don't like apples okay that's let's say you're allergic to oranges um you shouldn't just be like all right i'll play the video i'm gonna go have four oranges <laughs> you know test the waters first um But in general, most food intolerances are energetic based. They're not, there's no physical cause for it. 
it's um, an energetic problem. Do I know the percentage of uh, positive and negative people throughout the world? No, I, I wouldn't feel into that. Don't think I'd like the answer. Because the problem is, it's not positive and negative people. The problem is positive people who actually have an idea of what's going on. Because there are plenty of positive people who really, really, really just want to help the world. Who call in archangels for all their friends. <laughs> and summon unicorns. And call on, you know, aliens. But... They're, you know, they're doing more harm than good most of the time. So, yeah, that would be a very hard thing to answer. I wouldn't worry about the pineal gland. Um, it's an implant. So, just yeah, don't worry about that. I'll talk about the nature connection now. So, in our energy system, we essentially have... There, and I mentioned this last time, energetic gates. We have an energetic gate in our body. This one will really strengthen and connect you with nature's energy. So what does that mean for you? It means that if you're quite blocked up, um, it will clear through that and then it will get to your nature connection and open it for you. If you're not blocked up, then it will just go to your nature connection, open it for you, and then begin to strengthen and develop it. And you will have more nature's energy, should you so choose, which there's <laughs> no reason not to, um, unless you're in a really negative area. But even then, just connect to nature's energy, not in your local area. Uh, if you just say nature's energy in general, if you're in a negative area, you may have more traps, but you'll connect to nature's energy and then you'll have that go through your body. So this will strengthen nature's energy flow through you. It will strengthen your connection with it. You'll go out and you'll just feel nature strongly. Now, that will also mean that if you go somewhere that's got a lot of corrupted nature energy, which is essentially nature energy that's been targeted by negative energy and entities, and in some cases people, um, you will feel that more strongly as well, but you know, don't draw that in, okay? Just shield yourself from it. Um, and if you don't want to feel it as strongly, just you know, make the intention and try and ground yourself more. Yeah, I had digestive issues. I'm trying to, th I'm trying to think an age when I didn't. Probably, yeah, my digestive issues really got bad when I was, like, really bad. 13, 14? Um, and that's when energy targeting tends to get worse for a lot of people. So, I had negative energy manifest as a bursar, which is a lump of fluid in your nervous system that just causes stabbing pain. Um, and I, I got rid of it because it just really, really hurt after putting up with it for six months. But I, I hit it. And that dispersed the bursa. And the doctor said, okay, that was a really bad thing. Now you have tiny lumps of fluid throughout your whole nervous system. And I went, well, it's not it's not painful anymore. Um, I should, just thinking I should probably energetically clear that. It wouldn't take me very long to do that now. But, you know, doctors aren't going to say, oh, well, you can energetically clear that. No, that's that's not part of their spiel. And, you know, nor, nor should it be. They're based, well, I wouldn't say nor should it be. In, in the current world, they're very much based in reality. And a lot of people, you know, find energy stuff number one first they find it very hard to believe and there can also be a lot of willful ignorance because finding out the truth can be absolutely terrifying you don't want to know that oh you, you know you have demons in your digestive system from when oh well you, you know you were conceived eight weeks ago and then they just went oh this person's got potential to do do great things and then they blocked you off now that doesn't mean potential like oh you're going to be the ceo of a major company it could be that you just had the potential to just be, you know, a good person, to be a good parent, um, to just increase the joy of the lives of those around you. So, yeah, you, you, don't worry, you didn't, you know, have your billionaire, most likely, your, your billionaire, um, you know, destined life taken away from you. But you have had what would have been a better life made much more difficult from their targeting. Um, if you're smelling of smoke, that can be satanic energy, or it can also be, it can also be if you're around anyone who smokes, if you are energetically stronger or energetically more sensitive and you have implants and entities, they can suck that in, um, which can cause you smelling of smoke as well, which can be a massive issue. And yes, the needleman energy is not helping our digestive tract whatsoever. Um, I'm going to talk about that in tomorrow's video.
Good morning, Courage. I'm just thinking um, any, anything else that I feel I should talk about that should pop into my mind. I'll talk about this. Yeah, that's all that I didn't think about it. So I used to have um, acid reflux really, really badly. I was on a pill for it called Nexium. Um, and I took that pill and it basically calmed things down. I'll also talk about apple cider vinegar. So what I used to do is I'd go to the gym and my reflux wasn't that bad. But if I go, went to the gym and exercised and energy was moving through my body, it would get bad and I'd just exercise through it. And it sucked. And I put up with that for years. And it's funny, when you, you may have a massive energetic problem for decades and then it's fixed and you're like oh good and you don't even you don't even think well, <laughs> you know you don't even think about you six months ago who had that, that energetic problem it's like oh good I'm better um so I would go and I would have acid reflux and Nexium um, it was a pill that st st <laughs> you can see I'm really not a doctor it's like oh I don't remember the pill I had it years ago um and I have, haven't needed it in, I'm gonna say two years, I got strong enough to not need it anymore. So I would, when I'd be at the gym, I'd just be doing some running and I would remote view into my stomach and I would see, I saw a lot of things. One thing that really comes to mind is I would see demonic worms. A lot of people have these. This video will erase these from you. About this big, um, they're yellow. If you've seen fat, just Google image, like the anatomical image for fat that's what they looked like they could be very furry and then there was also a demonic kind um and i went through and erased it and as i went through my reflux became better and better um until i was finally able to stop nexium and no longer needed uh, to take it in terms of apple cider vinegar that's something that a lot of health people swear up and down is the best thing ever and my experience with apple cider vinegar was I took it and my reflux, I stopped, I wasn't taking exit at the time and this was when I still had really bad reflux. It completely stopped and then I went to the gym but I could feel they were like energetically pushing on the, the reflux energetic, not the reflux, the um, energy of apple cider vinegar. And then I took it the next day and it, could, it had still stopped and then I took it a third day and my reflux was much worse than it had been before. Then I took it the fourth day and the fifth day and it got worse and worse. So... For me, apple cider vinegar, I don't take it or need it now. But when I took it, it worked for a few days and then they beat it and then just t turned it against me pretty much. And that can happen. Um, you may have noticed this with uh, just drugs in general. I was on a pill for uh, vertigo. I had, and this is very common for targeted people. They target our inner ears. Um... I had vertigo really badly when I was a teenager. I was nauseous all the time. The room had spin. It was really, really annoying. And I said to my doctor, I have really bad vertigo. And he, now, he, if you have vertigo, here's what you do, okay? Energetically try and clear your inner ears. Yes. But just do some stretching, okay? When I started working out, it just <laughs> it just stopped. Um, it Because it helped rebalance my body and rebalance my energy. But I had really bad vertigo. And he gave me some pills for vertigo. And... My vertigo was really bad. I used to be really nauseous um, to the point where sometimes it would get so bad that I would like put my um, arms over my locker and just like bend over it and just try to not vomit. I never really, I was never really one for vomiting. Um, I'd only vomit if I was really sick and I don't seem to even have the capacity to vomit. Um, I can energetically vomit, but I don't physically vomit. So... Um, I had really bad vertigo. I'd be sitting... I remember English class. It was incredibly boring. And I'd just be sitting there. And if I even just was like, oh, I haven't had any vertigo for a while. The second I'd say that, the room would start moving around and uh, shaking. Like, my vertigo was bad. It's, the room would... You, basically, with vertigo, you're sitting here and you feel like... You, your space is moving. It would feel like the world is tipping upside down. Um, but I, it, was, it was very, very annoying. <laughs> and I'm glad I don't have it anymore. Um, there might be some residue of it energetically, but I feel like it's most, mostly gone. I haven't had vertigo in a very long time. So I went to the doctor. He gave me pills for vertigo and I took them. And for about a week, 
I had peace and quiet. It was like there was a... And energetically, even though I didn't know anything about energy, it felt like there was a wall suddenly there. And it was peace and quiet. I was like, I could think vertigo, vertigo, vertigo. Nothing happened. And I was sitting in English class and the, the entities beat the pills and it just went... And the whole room sh- shook massively. And it was so much worse because they got themselves ramped up and were much stronger. They must have stolen a lot of my energy to try and beat the vertigo pills. So it was, you know, very useful for a week and then it got worse. So with problems, you I'm not going to rule out medicine. Um, but you do want to try and beat them energetically especially because a lot of these pills that doctors will put you on, it's like, yeah, just stay on these. And it's like, oh, how long? Forever. It's like, oh, you have acid reflux? Get on this pill forever. Don't make diet changes. You know, um, do make diet changes, but, you know, the they'll just put you on pills. And the pills can work forever, but, you know, optimally you don't want to be on them. I'll just uh, check the chat now. What do I think about radiation levels rising? I don't know about radiation levels rising. Um, bloating and gastric issues. Yeah, this will help with gastric issues as well. You may have quite a lot of gas from this video because energy will be pushing. It'll be clearing up your digestive tract and pushing things out, which could have been stuck for years. Um, Ajay asked, one of his issues is sluggish digestion. He could go a day without food. Um, Hang on, he, 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 he didn't write it well and my energy's all, my mind's all going to energy work. So I'll just read what he said. I could go a day without food for a day. Eat something after inter- intermittent fasting. Um, oh, so he'd go a day without eating, then he'd eat. And he feels super bloated. Could this be energetically related? Um, the answer is is yes. I don't have a problem with bloating and I, you know I can eat too much food. Um, and bloating is not an issue for me. But it used to be really bad. I could eat... Yeah. Nowhere near enough food to cause any kind of bloating. Um, and yeah, this gluttony energy would just ramp up and cause bloating because it just wanted me to be miserable and you know have worse physical health. Yeah, back when... It's funny how, you know, I, I don't think of things. I'm like, oh yeah, I did have really, really bad digestive targeting that I'll, I'll talk about now. Just um, finish the questions first. This video should help with your throat, yes. Um, I'm not going to answer that high round. No, don't do that. That's bad. So, I used to, uh, when I was 18, I was really, really badly targeted, having no idea what targeting was. Um, And I would eat foods. I wasn't eating good foods, (laughs) that's for sure. Um because I, I didn't have a job, so it was basically whatever my mum would willingly buy. And I remember I would just have foods like, no, I can't eat that anymore. Uh, evidently, the energetic targeting was doing a lot of damage to my organs in my energy body, my digestive system. Um, so it would be like, I could have toast, and then no, can't have toast, it makes me ill. Um, and by ill, I mean I get a lot of stomach pain and bloating and stomach acid. And then it would be like, okay, can't have microwave rice. I don't need any of this. I don't eat microwave rice now. I don't eat that. That's bad. Just cook, cook rice. But microwave rice, um, just as it would progress and get worse and worse, I would just not be able to eat more and more food. And it was terrible. I used to eat and then have really bad pain. I'd be like, oh, this is awful. I'll sleep it off. And I would just sleep off the pain. It was dreadful. Um... And then I'd go and see a stomach specialist and he would um, give me a pill. I don't remember what it was. And I would be on that for two weeks and it would improve. And I, all the foods that I'd lost, I'd gain them back. And then I'd be good for about two, three months before I need to go see him again, get those pills again. And that must have happened three times until the third time. Something energetically must, must have happened um, I didn't really make any changes um, because I wasn't really doing anything that bad in the first place, but it did just... And this can happen a lot. You can have a chronic illness, completely unexplainable, and then just, oh, it's just gone. Um, So something certainly shifted and that problem just went away. I've never had it anywhere near that bad um, 
you know, that in particular with absolutely no trigger at all. It wasn't emotional energy. Well, it, it could have been emotional energy. <laughs> thinking about it. I'll look into that and, you know, give you, uh, you know, let you know another time. But th that happens a lot with just, you know, and you've most likely known someone who had a chronic knee pain, a massive chronic illness, and then it just got better one day. Um, the, you know, he could have gone to the beach, the, the entities just, something shifted and they couldn't stay in him anymore. That does happen. I f forgot to plug in, um, my computer, so I'll just do that. And if I forgot to plug in, I mean, I moved it for a better view. There we are. Um. Yeah, Scylla, what can happen is entities will target your digestive system and they may not be able to gain a whole lot of room straight away. It may take them time in order to you know, progress. So, if you're putting on weight and you just, this will happen, they've got enough ground that you will not be able to lose weight, okay? And this video will help with that. You cannot lose weight and then you're gaining three kilograms a year. So, you're not able, you know, even if you stop eating, you're really not able and don't do that. You need, even if you're gaining weight, you need physical energy in order, in order to combat this stuff. So, You, yeah, you are having trouble, you know, gaining ground. But they were also having massive trouble gaining ground, which is why you didn't suddenly gain 10 kilograms, right? You're gaining 3 kilograms a year. Now, with this video, you're most likely in for quite a purge, which in the short term sucks, but in the long term will be very, very beneficial. And then you should gradually lose that weight because it's not real weight. It's negative entities that are holding on to fat and holding on to gluttony energy and causing that problem. Hello, Julia. Um, would I help someone coming off addictive meds energetically? Depends on the meds. Probably. The answer is I wouldn't do a session just focused on that. I would do a session. And then if I were to see the energy of the medication is causing them problems, then I could erase it. But or, or if they have programming that the uh, energy of the medicine has put in them, yes, uh, I could help them in that regard. But, and I haven't really, I've had clients that were on addictive medication, but they, you know, had a mass, they had really bad, they went through the withdrawal symptoms and they, they got over it. I'm not able to just click that away, okay? You'd still be in for the withdrawal symptoms, but I could erase programming and a bit of the energy if that is a big problem. Gluten intolerance. Um, no, gluten intolerance seems to be, so number one, is gluten good for you? Probably not that, no, not really. But it's really not that bad for you, right? Like, you can have gluten, you can have bread, it's fine, bread's nice. And you should be allowed to have it. So gluten intolerance is negative entities basically saying, you know, you can't have this for that, you know, just to, to make you more miserable, really, to feel like you're less in control. Can, yes, you can use negative energy, um to clear, not negative energy, you can use nature's energy to clear anything just how you would your own energy, whether that be physical or energetic. Um, no, this won't help, Susan, this will not help with fibromyalgia because that is a nerve condition. Uh, could this help with diabetes and high blood pressure? Well, if your blood pressure is related to energetic targeting of your digestive system, it could. Um, diabetes, again, if it's, it, it just depends if it's, it, you know, where the core of the energetic targeting could be. Um, if you've had a severe gut illness for six to seven years and you've, you've got um, a good diet, it's not really, so it's not like you'll need to sit down and focus on that for six to seven hours, right? Um, or Sorry, one to two hours a day. No, this is a lifestyle. So once you develop the fundamental abilities and you can energetically just go in and work on your stomach, you can be at the gym or you can just be, be home and just, you, you can have this video on where Lawrence is talking, then you just go in and have a look at your stomach. You don't need to meditate and close your eyes. Um, you may need to initially, but it's often, even earlier, it's easier if you're just like, oh, I'll just do this, and you don't think about it much, you just go into it. Um, 
So think of it less as one to two hours a day and more of, oh, you know, I'm going to watch a movie and I'll just do some energy work while it's on because you're much more likely to keep at it than, you know, if you've got to set aside a block of an hour every single time because that's tedious and, you know, you'll set aside a block of, of an hour and you'll be in bed and you'll fall asleep. I did that when I first started. I was meditating and doing the same guided meditation and I'd done it probably five, six times and I was bored of it and just woke up with headphones on like, oh, whoops. Um, yeah, I don't really meditate. I'm always energy working. I'm always energy training. And sometimes I'm just sitting there a bit zoned out, just working on myself. But a lot of the time, I, I'm not. A lot of the time, I'm doing other things and I'm working on myself. Mohammed, I'm not, <laughs> not going to talk about that. <laughs> Simply because, as I said in the comment, it's a very touchy topic. And it's not something that I would put my personal opinion out publicly because it's just not worthwhile. Will this video help, against, video help against cravings? With this video, so let's say you have spider entities and the main way they get at you is by absorbing the energy off sugar. So they cause sugar cravings. So they invest their energy in sugar cravings and build up a habit and programs and then they get the sugar energy, right? Let's just call these sugar spiders. This will help clear the sugar spiders, yes. But while this is on, you may be like, oh, the video is on. I need chocolate. You don't need chocolate. You don't need whatever sh super sugary thing you feel like you need. But if your cravings are really bad, just, just have some. Don't have, a, don't have all of your chocolate. Okay, have a little bit. Um, if you cannot do that, then you may be in for a rough few days of cravings. Um, you know, that's up to you. You will know yourself whether you can have a little bit or whether you can have all of it or none, right? Uh, emotional eating, no, that'd be more so emotional. It'd help a little bit, but not really. What does it mean when you want to move your head up and down? Well, that can mean a lot of things. It could be that your body is doing a lot energetically. It could be that you have entities in your nervous system or muscular system. Um, yeah, a lot of things that could be. Um, I don't know if this will help with a hernia. I'm, <laughs> I'm not sure. Do I have a trick to be able to focus on energy work while watching a movie? Um, well, it could depend on the kind of brain you have. Because, like, I can... My brain works pretty fast, so I can watch a movie and be energy working at the same time. What you can do is you can energetically make the intention to... And this will be in your mind. You're not seeing this physically. Okay, that would be very annoying. Put up a window of what you're working on in, in your mind, just over there, and then have the movie on. And you can pay, pay attention. Um to that you know just check in go do some go in focus clearing for 10 minutes record it just how i explained in the last video i believe on quick wording you'll quick word that and then you can have the movie on and just check that your energy is doing the thing that you've quick worded um well jordan the answer is i'm not a nutritionist or a farmer but yes try Try to eat organic foods. Try not to eat, you know, things that have been poisoned. Um, that's what I'd recommend there. In regards to a nature connection, better talk about that. If you want to focus on that, okay, here's what you would picture. Um, this will help you. Okay, you're going to picture a tree. Start it here, right? Just a big green tree. It can be crystally. It can just be green energy. It can be a physical tree. Um, that's up to you. And if you want to strengthen your nature connection, what you can do is you can picture that en enlarging through your body, then picture the quality increasing, and because you can only get so big in your body, then you'll picture it decrease. Then you can also picture green nature's energy coming into the tree and being absorbed into it. Um, that's one way to focus on your nature connection. You know, you can really play around with it. P picture trees in your body, picture a gold energy gate open and nature energy coming in. Um, if you're just doing it symbolically, that'll work as well. Uh, I'm not going to talk about that, Demi, because it's really... Again, focus on this matrix. Don't worry about what's out there um, for, the, for the time being. Just focus here. Have I made a torpor? No. That would be very, very stupid. Um, don't do that. Yeah, there is, um, that, that's a good question, Ajaya. 
he, he mentioned for anyone who's not seen the chat, um, it seems there's some truth to movies where during an exorcism, the person possessed passes huge amounts of gas, burping, etc. Yes, often with clearing, um, you can burp a lot, yeah, there can be gas, it's part of it. Often it doesn't happen while you're talking to the person who's working on you, um, so it doesn't really apply as much as with a video, you can burp as much as you want, I'm not seeing you. Um, but often, as the energy is working on you, it's moving things around and your physical body is having a reaction to the clearing. Um, so there is a large amount of truth to that, yes. I'm just checking what's going on in my digestive system now. So what I'm seeing with the energy is it starts in the mouth, goes down the throat. My throat's looking good. Um, it's looking a bit sore and tender. You're, you, you may get a sore throat from this. No worries. All right, that'll pass. And then it'll be much better. But my throat is looking a bit tender. Goes down. Yeah, through the thyroid. And there's um, adrenal, livers, different organs. It's clearing all of those. Um, it will not just clear the organs if there are energetic portals around the organs as they often do. So let's say your stomach, okay? Let's say it's full of negative energy. It's full of black needles and it's, um, let's just say succubus entities, right? It'll go through, it'll wrap around the stomach so nothing's getting out. So you don't have them just fleeing other places. Go through and clear them. And then any negative energy portals you have around the stomach, it will go through and clear as well. Um, then once your stomach is, and while it's doing that, if let's say, you know, these succubus entities have just caused a large tear, either energetically, let's just say energetically, let's say they energetically cause a large tear in your stomach, um, it will restore that, but it will mainly work on getting the whole thing clear and then it will do a massive restore there and then it will, that will help, um, prevent future attacks in the future. Then it will go through the rest of your body. Now, this may be rather painful as the succubus entities or whatever entities you have in your organs are like, you know, getting rather mad that they are trapped in and or getting erased. But it's a bit of discomfort so you can then have a great digestive system. So it's, it's worthwhile. Um, you may... Um, I don't know if I should talk about this or not. Okay, so let's say if you have an energetic purge, right... Um, you know, th things are coming out of your body. It may be quite painful. It may almost, um, at worst case, this will be for only very few people. It may feel like glass because you've had such strong um, energy damage on your body that as they came out, your body is now realizing it and you're feeling it like that. And then as your energy body heals, that won't be a problem. Uh, no, I'm, the answer is you cannot program your energy to decorrupt itself because corruption energy is very, very awful, Demi. I'll, I'll talk about that much down the road because that's a very niche topic and not something that most people need to know about. Um, I do have a video planned for that, Mayroli, yes. Yeah, in general, so with my healing videos, um, I play my own healing videos. <laughs> I don't really trust anyone else uh, at the moment. I do play my own healing videos quite a bit. So when I first played them, well, right now as I'm making this, I'm feeling quite a bit of tension, almost like there's a hand that's, you know, quite got a strong grip on my lower back in my digestive system there. Um, and that's a good sign. That means, yeah, the energy is really working on you. You feel it. But as you play it more, the energy doesn't get weaker. You just have much less blockages, much less things acting out so that is um you know it won't be in, you won't feel it anywhere near as strongly the energy is just as strong but you're now just accustomed to it and you're not getting anywhere near as much of a pushback um so that's a good thing and if you're really feeling like it's not doing much picture an energetic lever dial it right up increase the strength as much as you want um yeah really any digestive system issues vince this should help with Um, does anyone else have any questions? I am out of topics. Um, mainly tomorrow, I've, I've got tomorrow's topics in my head right now, but I'm going to wait for that because that will be very, um, you know, much, be a darker topic, that's for sure. And, um, you know, I 
have a few stories there to talk about in depth. Oh, that's not, that's not really a question. In general, yes, it, um, you, you should be able to, if, if not cure it, at least improve on it um, by energetically working on your nervous system. So yeah, that's good. And, um, yeah, tomorrow's video will be very important um, yeah, the state of the world is disappointing, but, you know, we've got to work through it. Um, the answer, um, Irene, is there is safe areas you can call energy through, but it, it, you've got to be very, very cautious there. You, in my experience you're much better off using your own personal energy and if you want it to be gold just have it gold um rather than trying to call it in um only when you're able to see energy very clearly and you're really good at picking up traps then i recommend you go and do anything external other than nature's energy no i don't have any plans for it at the moment good all right everyone i'll see you tomorrow take care